cameras have a number of metering modes, which can be used depending on the subject and lighting conditions. These metering modes can be accessed through either the camera's menu or by using a dedicated metering button on the camera body. Please refer to your camera's manual if you are unable to find the metering mode setting. In this tutorial, we will examine three metering modes which are commonly found on DSLR cameras. While there may be other metering modes on your camera, we recommend understanding the following three modes first. Evaluative metering is the default metering mode for most cameras. It can also be referred to by other names, for example, matrix metering or zone metering. Evaluative metering divides the sensor into multiple areas or zones. The meter reads light across all of these zones and produces an averaged light meter reading. Evaluative metering is best used when the light is even throughout the scene and doesn't contain overly bright or dark areas. It is used when your subject occupies the majority of your scene, such as a landscape or streetscape. Center-weighted average metering determines a correct exposure by reading the available light across the entire scene, but prioritizes light at the center of the scene. This metering mode can be useful in situations where the subject is centered and occupies approximately two-thirds of the scene. Spot metering reads light from a small, specific area of the scene. When using spot metering, only 5% of the light in the scene will be measured. Spot meter readings can be taken from the point where you focus your camera. Spot metering is very effective in high contrast scenes, where you want to ensure a specific area of the subject is correctly exposed. Understanding the various metering modes will enable you to accurately determine the exposure levels of a scene. This will help you to correctly expose your images in various lighting conditions. Always remember to check your metering mode settings before you start a shoot.